Hey guys, Eric Sargent at Ed Martin Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana. I wanted to do a quick walk around on my uh, 2019 Onyx Blue with black interior uh, Land Cruiser 200. A um, couple upgrades that we've done on this one. Um, it's got an old Manny Emu BP51 suspension. Uh, it's set at 1.5 inches in the front. We're using the 2721 rear springs. <clears throat> uh, I've got the Slee LX570 rock sliders. I apologize for the car being a little dirty. We've got the Heritage uh, wheels off of, uh, um, from a 2020 uh, Heritage Edition. Uh, wheel spacers are the Spider Tracks uh, 1.25 inch um, uh, hub centric wheel spacers, which are powder coated black. In the front, we've got a Heritage grill, um, Heritage lower fog surrounds, Heritage uh, uh, headlamp wings. Um, we went with the Heritage Grill um, just basically so we could integrate the, four, the 30 inch rigid adapt light bar in the grill, which you can't do with a base model. Um, also, um, got a uh, Trail Tailor uh, hidden winch mount mounted in the, in the OEM front bumper. Uh, Warren Xeon 12S Platinum uh, winch with a wireless remote, synthetic rope. Um, got a Factor 55 Fairlead, Factor 55 Ultra Hook, uh, Trail Tailor um, uh, recovery points, uh, two in the front, two in the rear. Um, I also have a Escort CI uh, or a 360 CI Max uh, integrated radar detector. <clears throat> um, you can see that one, one's right there, one's right there. There's also another one that's in the rear. Up top, uh, got a Front Runner Slimline 2 uh, roof rack um, with the wind fairing, eye camper tent, rooftop tent. On the side for scene lights, um, got the rigid uh, SLR spreaders, um, which have kind of a dual function. You can use them as a scene light with white um, for spreader light. And then also you got a, a glow ring around it, um, which is amber on this particular one. Um, in the back here, we got a Trek box alpha. Um, this is the, the um, alpha with the Zulu upgrade. So it's got the extra box on the top on the right hand side. Um, got a Snowmaster 65 liter fridge, um, dual fridge freezer that's currently um, uh, running right now. A um, bunch of USB ports, <clears throat> um, got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and then 18, two more there. So 18 USBs in the back. <clears throat> um, four of those 18 are Type-C for my iPad and MacBook Pro. Um, got an inverter, a 2000 watt uh, Kotex uh, Pure Sign, which I'll show you here in just a minute. Uh, it's all powered by the Red Arc, uh, uh, the Manager 30 uh, battery management system with the Red Arc Red Vision. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, so basically, a little hard to see because of the glare. I'll probably do a separate video on just on the Red Vision itself, but um, I can control uh, basically the lights um, for. I'm basically turn on my Apple TV. Uh, let's go down. We'll turn on the television. We'll turn on these two right here are uh, lights for my rooftop tent. I have a Whalen uh, red red and white uh, multicolor light inside the tent. Plus, I have additional USB ports that are inside the tent as well. So those are turned on there and there. <clears throat> um, we also have uh, power to the USBs. All the USBs, um, all the 18 USBs that are back here are turned on through this button right here. And then I got an Apple TV, which you can kind of see through the cage, um, the barrier right there. <clears throat> That's uh, integrated to an Alpine 12-inch uh, 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 drop-down screen. Um, and then we got a second mode or a second um, uh, or a screen here um, of additional switching. So um, on the left side, I have um, two buttons right here. That's for the rigid uh, SL spreaders. So you can kind of see they're both on now. If I turn off the glow, turn off the main, turn on the main, turn off the main, turn on the glow, turn off the glow. <clears throat> so there's two buttons for the glow, one for the glow and one for the spreader on the left and then also on the right as well. Um, this one right here will turn on the power inverter. Um, and then I'll kind of walk around to the middle row just to show you a couple of additional things. So Apple TV for the Lane Cruiser, <clears throat> remotes get switched easy. There's a little better look of the Alpine screen. <clears throat> um, we also have, go ahead and put the seat back a little bit. Um, so here we got the Red Arc Red Vision <clears throat> mounted to the back of the Trek box. Uh, a couple thermostat wires and stuff that I haven't uh, actually put on anything yet. But this is a fully wired and functional system. Uh, the Kotec um, uh, 2000 watt inverter is to the is right behind the um, the passenger side seat. 
um, on the side of the truck box we have on this side, um, we, driver's side, we have the um, we have a, a ham radio. It's a Gesu 400. Um, and then kind of walk around the vehicle again here. Put these seats up. <clears throat> Here's a better look at the wiring. Can't see a whole lot. A little clean. There's the back of the Snowmaster, <clears throat> secured with the truck box straps, which are the best. And then on this side we have the uh, the Manager 30 battery management system. So this is going to be your DC DC. Um, it's going to be you know your solar input. It's going to it's going to you know, operate the all the chemistries of all the batteries, whatever you're using. That baby is going to make it work so and then also soft close on the side wings for the truck box again the best um seats up i've got a couple extra usbs here um these are all glow glow usbs too so at night they're there's a blue ring around them so you kids can see what they're plugging into um got a, another 110 so we got two in the back one in the middle uh powered off the 2000 watt inverter um, also got a couple, um, got a USB-C and a HDMI, which I can't unplug with one hand. Yep, there we go. So USB-C and HDMI. Uh, this is just for my Nintendo Switch base for the, you know, just the tiny one for the kids. So you can set it down on the ground and then just flip the input on the um, drop overhead screen. <clears throat> so that's wired up. It's, um, all, of course, behind the dash and up through the A-pillar. <clears throat> um, inside here, got my backpack. Um, let me walk around to the driver's seat, show you a couple other cool things. Pop the hood as well. <clears throat> All right, so we got, and this unit has Apple CarPlay on the key with me, so I'm not going to be able to show you that on this video. <clears throat> um, up here, we got the microphone for the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which is the Navi Plus. Um, that's the Escort uh, CS360 uh, um, CI Max radar detector uh, display up here. Um, this is a ThinkWear U1000 uh, front and rear uh, dash cam uh, or yeah, dash cam recorder, um, which is always running. And um, down here in the quick charger slot, I uh, went ahead and deleted the uh, 12 volt adapter with um, a couple more USBs with the glow ring around it. I did um, wire this uh, USB port um, to the Navi Plus for, for wired CarPlay, although the system is complete is wireless CarPlay. Do uh, utilize this uh, one eighth inch mini jack, auxiliary jack for the um, for the Alpine TV screen, just so that we don't have to use an FM modulator. Um, got the rigid adapt uh, uh, control module for the um, light bar. <clears throat> um, so you can control your flood and your spot and then two presets as well. Um, if you press this button once, it'll integrate to the high beams. If you press it again, it'll deactivate it from the high, high beams. Um, got an ARB20 air compressor under the hood on a SLE uh, air compressor tray. Um, we got rock, six rock, or eight rock lights underneath the vehicle, three on each side underneath the SLE sliders, and then two in the back. I'll show you those in a second. Um, we have a smart battery isolator for the Red Arc uh, SBI 200 amp uh, uh, a smart, battery, smart battery isolator. So if the, battery, if the crank battery is ever dead, we can jump off the auxiliary couple blanks that I'm not using. We got a rear uh, uh, ARB locker and then an enable button so we don't accidentally press that. Um, I did relocate um, the, the um, forward collision warning and then the rear hatch button from the right side of the steering wheel to the left side of the steering wheel um, just because I wanted to, I really wanted to put the Switch Pro 9100 panel right there in that location uh, using the SDHQ uh, Tacoma bracket. <clears throat> um, Red Arc trailer brake controller as well. Um, what else we got here? <clears throat> um, underneath the vehicle we have um, Bud Built Stage 2 skids. Um, we got uh, stainless steel for the T-case, uh, stainless steel for um, the, the transmission, stainless steel for the fuel, uh, aluminum in the front. <clears throat> and I know somebody's probably saying that those are the wrong bolts there. I know they are. I didn't, I, I, I lost the the the, the countersink ones that came with it and i'll get those replaced but um they'll be just fine <clears throat> um what else we got here um 
Kind of take a step back so you can see how the Red Vision integrates to the Trek box. I'll actually show you how that wiring, how that looks from behind. And it's really just a couple Cat5 cables that run to the manager, to the manager 30. Um, and then it's just wired, you know, it's just clipped on the side here. Ran down the drawer to the back. Um, drawer lights, uh, Waylon, um, white and ambers. Pop the hood real quick. Ouch, it's hot. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so dual batteries. Um, we got a um, an Odyssey uh, Extreme uh, Group 31 for my auxiliary battery, and then a Group 35 uh, Odyssey Extreme for my crank battery. <clears throat> um, so we did relocate uh, the crank battery to the the um, the auxiliary location um, using the Slee um, Group 35 uh, second battery tray. Um, and so this is our auxiliary battery. We got a ARB 20 air compressor. Um, again, on a Slee tray, um, stainless steel tray. Um, and then also got some hood lights in here. Again, two of the Wayland lights that we used for the, um, for the hatch. They're waterproof. They're made in America. Uh, red, off, and white. And then the button for that is right here. That's your red. That's your off. That's your white. And just in case you accidentally leave the lights on, there is a um, an override pin right here, so that you can, if you shut the hood, then the battery's not going to die. I'll walk around the whole vehicle. I apologize; it's a little bit filthy, but it's got a lot of goodies on it. And if you guys have any questions, uh, give me a call: three one seven three eight five nine five seven two. Again, this is Eric at Ed Martin Toyota. Thanks for watching.